But let's stop beating around the bush. Pornography is an issue. Let's talk about it. So I want to begin this video with just a little bit of a story. Um, a couple weeks ago I posted a video on TikTok where I'm quite active on there uh, about why you should quit pornography. Three reasons why you should quit pornography. And I said at the end of the video, if you're struggling with pornography, uh, give me a DM on Instagram. So I proceeded to get hundreds of DMs from people from the ages of 12 to 40 asking for, you know, help in these resources that I, that I was saying I, I could provide. And, and it was just kind of a playlist on my YouTube channel here. You can find it. It's called Online Purity. Um, and, and I was just like kind of overwhelmed with this with this everyone's just like we want to stop we, we want to stop pornography because it's having this terrible impact on our lives and for me i knew it was an issue i knew it was something that that was maybe not as talked about in the christian community maybe it was pushed under the rug a little bit more just because it, we don't like to talk about that stuff it's icky we, we'd rather just not even not even think about it um, but the fact is and what i'm coming to realize is part of the reason that i want to make this video for you is because most likely you or somebody that you know is struggling with it right now in this moment and so if that's you if, if you're somebody that that is either struggling with pornography or you were just totally given over to it, or you know somebody that, that is struggling with it, I want to just be able to be there for you, be a little bit of a, uh, a sounding board for maybe some of the things that you're thinking, and, and just, um, I want to try to help you a little bit with some of the things that have helped me. And I want to tell you a story about my own experience with, with this type of stuff. So when I was about around, I guess, 13 or so, um, I got an iPad from from um, an iPod it was my first really any kind of like technological advice a uh, device part of me um, and so I was I was just gonna you know I, I was gonna use it and 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 um, and so I I I had never really thought about using YouTube or whatever I, I would go on to go over to some friends houses and they would have YouTube on there and we'd listen to some like auto tune videos I think with Shmoyo and uh, and that was fun so I played around on YouTube on my iPod and um, yeah this stuff is awkward for me to share like it, I'm all about authenticity and, and vulnerability but at the same time I just want you to know this isn't this isn't easy um, so anyway when I was 13 um, looking at these um, Super Bowl commercials that was what popped up I know it sounds kind of like okay that's not that bad but at 13 you got to think about like the first experience with this type of stuff and so you know how sexually graphic and sexually charged they can be and that was just kind of a starting point from looking for more videos like that and ultimately got to the place for me as a 13 year old where I just knew look this is not I cannot be doing this it's like I, I feel so guilty all the time um, it, it has like control over me almost um, so one night I was like enough is enough and so I went to my dad at 13 years old and said hey I need to talk to you and this wasn't something usual this was kind of late at night and I was saying I need to talk to you and I kind of explained what was going on and from that moment on he, he took my iPod during the night because that was when I was most tempted and that was kind of the beginning of my own journey with this stuff. Um, I think we all have kind of those stories of, of when we first kind of encountered whether it was pornography or just sexually tar charged material. And um, for guys especially, man, this stuff is prevalent. I know it, like I've gotten messages from girls too saying, hey, we're struggling with this too. And, and so we ought not just think this is a totally a guy's issue. Um, these are some of the things that I would say Number one, I'm not going to try to convince you that it's bad. Like, I, I think the people that I'm kind of talking to in this video, you guys already know it's bad. You, you already know that that it, it takes a hold of you. It distorts your perspective of, of the opposite gender that God says, hey, don't look with lust, all this stuff. So you're like, okay, I know it's bad, and yet I feel over overtaken by it. I, I feel almost helpless in this battle. And so I, I in my mind, this is, this is where I go. Um power and presence two word two words power and presence and 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 when i think of those two words what do i think of i think of god's power god's power and god's presence within my life so only when god is when i'm aware number one aware of god's presence with me and and stepping into the power and and 
it, the 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 fact that God has empowered me to walk in truth, to walk in holiness. God has empowered me to do that by his spirit. That is what I need to be aware of. That is what I need to be turning my focus back onto when I feel helpless in this battle. Because like it is, <laughs> I'm having such a hard time filming this video. <laughs> it is, <laughs> it's tough. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna s to sit here and say that, that I'm perfect in this area. I'm not it is it is something that you need to be consciously um aware of in terms of guarding your eyes uh, on instagram like uh, it blows my mind i mean i i i'm i'm on social media i want to provide you know stuff for you guys to to read and be encouraged by and learn from and all this stuff and just share my experiences and so i'm on these platforms but i'm continually i feel like i'm continually inundated with this sexually charged content and, and that's really tough on your heart. That's really tough on your, on your soul. And what I'm asking for is just a renewal of, you know what, I'm going to flee um, sexual temptation, sexual immorality. I'm going to flee that. And it's a decision. It's a constant daily decision. Too often we think of, you know, of this thing being like, okay, well, for non-believers, they don't have christ in their lives so okay they're doing that that's fine um but then when you be, when you come to christ right then that stuff's all gone right then you don't even have to worry about that anymore but the thing is this is a daily a daily issue it's a continual repentance and faith towards god in order to overcome it i don't know of any any kind of like system or uh, or like strategy that 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 makes it like so you, you get out of this you know what i'm saying like if you have a pornography addiction the only thing that's going to get you out of this or the only thing that's going to transform how you see it is god so what i'm most passionate about at this point as i'm talking to you is you realizing and stepping into realizing God's presence and stepping into his power. It's his power. It's not your own. It's not your own sheer will to overcome this. Um, just some practical things that I, that I want to encourage you with is God, God sees you. God sees you as his child. So when we, when we fall, when we, when we, um, like step into these areas that we know we're not supposed to be in when we partake in things we're not supposed to partake in we're overwhelmed by shame and often that shame draws us away from god into more sin into this cycle of sin continually but what ought to be happening is we need to be able to jump out of those those situations where we've made a mistake and say no that's not me no that's not no that's not who i am I am a child of God. God delights in me. This is a verse I want to share with you from Zephaniah 3.17. And, and it just kind of reiterates this power and presence idea. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. When we talk about God saving us, what does God save us from? He saves us for our, from our sin. But sometimes we just think of that like as a one moment type deal, as, as that justification moment, right? But God is continually saving us from, from our sin, from, from our sinful addictions and, and proclivities in terms of just this pull towards pornography and lust. And so as much as I can from, from friend to, to friend, just to encourage you that that this battle though it may seem hopeless it, it is not lost there is great power in the fact that god looks at you and he delights in you and, and he doesn't see a disgusting piece of trash but instead he, he sees his child and yes he hates sin yes he hates sin and that's why he he desires so much for us to break free from it by his power. And I would just encourage you guys, you know what? A lot of us have pushed this under the rug. A lot of us, myself included from time to time, have said, you know what? Um, 
I'm just gonna push this this kind of issue and that's not you know that's only sometimes but but I'm gonna do my thing and, and so then you kind of leave this these two these two parts of you you know you can be the good Christian person that that leads a Bible study or helps in Sunday school and you can also do this but I'm here to tell you that's no way to live your life two halves of a life could keeping Christ in a box because because there's so much more to experience and to know and so much a, a deeper connection with God that is available if we were to just say I'm struggling if we were to just say this is an issue if we were to just say yeah this has taken hold of my life and I don't know how to break free let's start there can we start there guys like can we start there can we begin to be honest with ourselves i don't have the answers to all this stuff if i did i'd be a lot richer than i am <laughs> but i don't and part of the reason i think is that if we could just beat this on our own we wouldn't need god but these things the the the, the fact that we are we are just we are hopeless sometimes in our in our own strength. Those things are, are there to cause us to to follow God, to, to rely on Him, because we can't overcome sin on our own. We need God in this. Um, I'm kind of rambling now, but I, I hope you guys benefit from this video. I just want to share some of my heart with you. Um, and man, there's going to be more content to come on this stuff. So if you're struggling right now, begin with just being honest with yourself and being honest with God. Let's start there. Can we, can we start there? Thank you guys. Um, blessings.